It's like the nine ancestral tenants, Anavar, IGF, Trembolone, Winstraw. That's what he should be saying. What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. ASMR sip is 1907, check out 1907.com. Coupon code Russo, Intelligent Elephant Carbon for the ASMR spritz. Today's a BS cloud grab. So we all saw the video that Andrew made, posted, dropped. I appreciate everyone who ran up the view counter on it, discussing the liver king. I'm breaking with more conspiracy here. We may have figured out, based on Nick Tregilly's video, who is leaning towards Vigorous Steve, the top G behind the scenes being the ultimate coach that the liver king reached out to after trying to contact Derek with no avail. This all makes sense when you look at the emails, again, Andrew edited this video and noticed that there was a 12 hour time difference. So for those who don't know, I originally have contacted Steve for coaching before and I had to accommodate on Steve's time, you on the top G's time, the best biohacker. Behind the scenes, I highly suggest you subscribe to Vigorous Steve. He's another one of these shadow band channels like me that, in my opinion, if they fucking turn the button off on Vigorous Steve, his shit would explode. The amount of information on Steve's channel for him not to give views, mind boggling. And I'm doing a BS clout grab, adding Nick Tregilly, bodybuilding and BS, and adding Vigorous Steve to showcase that I feel like Steve deserves way more recognition, way more clout. I wanted him as a coach, but basically what I wanted to wrap up on is that I think, you know, it all makes sense. When I look at the timeline, I've had a consultation with Steve. It all kind of goes back and forth, makes sense. The emails are the same. And it makes sense for, you know, Liver King to want the best of the best. Derek's the best of the best. Who is Derek always collabing with? Bio Bros, right? Steve behind the scenes is the top G. Whether he wants the cloud or not, it'll come to him eventually. Do you think that Steve conspired with Derek giving him the information? Because I can see Derek getting these emails. Oh, these emails could be fake. These emails could easily be fake. If I post this with just this amount, it could be fake. You know, Steve's talking to me. Oh, Liver King reached out to me and he sells all the, this natural ancestral lifestyle that in my opinion is damaging. And then he's marketing all these natural supplements claiming he's all natural. You're lazy. He's not. He works harder than you. You don't know anything. You need to buy ancestral supplements. Otherwise, you'll never look like me. I'm all natural. Going to the top G bodybuilding coach, Vigorous Steve, behind the scenes discussing his protocols. I feel like that all makes sense. And I feel like Vigorous Steve, I watched all his content, right? He's very much against the BS cloud grab. Even though I wish Steve would be the top G, put his foot down, it'd be very entertaining with the amount of finite knowledge he has to discredit some of these bigger bodybuilding channels. And I feel like that's when Alec and Derek and he thinks I'm the crazy bipolar one, but I feel like we all just want to boost Steve up a little bit, give him the credit he deserves. He's got the hairless cats, Andrew, so you can tell he's like this behind the scenes with all his knowledge. It all makes sense. And I can see why Derek would add that in there as cannon fire when, you know, me and Andrew were talking, well, these emails could be easily edited. You know, Andrew could open up emails, edit them all in Photoshop. That's not enough. What was enough was tying the coach. We now know who the coach is again. It kind of makes sense in my opinion. It really is hard to debate against. I can see why Steve doesn't want the smoke, but at the end of the day, Derek was still contacted by Liver King. I feel like that dagger at the end, it's, it's like to a point where like that dagger at the end, if you actually believe that he was natural, it's insane. If you're watching any of us in this genre of YouTube and you believe he's natural, we are not doing our job. I feel like what the people didn't recognize in my last video on this is that there are a ton of low conscious people that completely bought into this shit. All of Andrew, Andrew, throw out that one comment I read to you. Like that one comment's insane. He's completely programmed by the Liver King going around searching videos, defending his name. The last thing I wanted to touch on is reacting to the Liver King's response. I'll have Andrew play it now. Primals, and this is what Liver King is having for dinner today. But first, I couldn't be more grateful to know my fight, my unite, my purpose, my passion, where to point my energy, because people are living a life of hurt, hate, suffering, struggle, and there's a better life to live. 
and it can be achieved through ancestral living. I couldn't be more grateful for some of the guys sitting on the couch making reaction video, surfacing new information that's going to lead to some goddamn good discussions. And so now this is what Liver King is having for dinner. I got lamb shanks. I got a whole feast protein shake. I got raw bone marrow, raw testicle, raw liver. This is called the King Special. If you can't do this, get yourself a bottle of King to dominate in life. I got a skillet of kidney. I got carbs. I got tzatziki sauce. And I got the Liver King bar. And this is what the Liver King's having for dinner today. Liver King, out. As you can see, it seems like he's going to address this statement. It seems like, to me, to paint the picture of Andrew, people posted on my Instagram at Russo List, the um, nine ancestral tenants. It's like the nine ancestral tenants, Anavar, IGF, Trembolone, Winstraw. That's what he should be saying. But instead he's selling these fucking, all these supplements with like the most insane margins to people who believe that he's natural. Not everyone exists in the biohacking PED community genre, right? There are general people that are gonna see his crazy viralness and fall down the funnel and then I have comments like this on my video. You know, I'm the craziest biohacking kid ever, right? Near death experiences document on this channel. And there's people in my comments saying that, oh, you're, you're just full of shit, Liver King's right. This is all a ploy to take the Liver King down for Gorilla Mind. No, it's not. We're exposing a scammer and liar. If he said he wasn't natural, if he said he wasn't better than you, and that he's natural, you're not, you're lazy on steroids, and not to track your health, don't track any biomarkers because I'm ancestral. Why do we even care about blood work? This is ridiculous. We all saw the Logan Paul podcast. We know that this is going to come out of the bag. The cat's going to come out of the bag, but I feel like this is an updated information and I feel like the next video drop is going to be going over Liver King's blood work, which in my opinion is going to showcase the ancestral lifestyle to a higher degree than he wants to on the amount of damage that this diet setup is doing internally to his blood work on top of of the natural nine ancestral tenants of all the gear he's on, the 10 grand a gear, whatever is supposed. But I do want to retract and say that those emails from Evolve Telemed were probably fake, could be fake. We don't know. The cycle personally didn't make any sense. Maybe he was taking that all at the start, but we don't know what exactly came out of that pharmacy to the Liver King, and there's no finite proof. However, there is proof that he probably contacted Steve. Steve doesn't want the smoke. Steve doesn't want the drama. Boom. Derek's making a video. They may or may not talk. They definitely talk. They put it together that, oh, Derek found out that he was consulted by the Liver King. They go back and forth. Steve was also consulted and helped the Liver King. I feel like in the back of Steve's mind, I'm helping this dude that is pretending to be natural while creating a seven-figure empire built on a lie. What are your comments down below? I'll see you guys in my next video.